Hello! Welcome to the new normal. I'm your host, the woke NPC. And unfortunately, this is gonna be my first video where I actually speak. I say unfortunately because it comes under kind of annoying circumstances. I'm very worried, well, about a lot of things, but a lot of what I'm worried about involves, I know this is gonna sound really uh, woke, but in my identity, you know, cause I am gay, but I don't shout it from the rooftops. And I really don't give a shit. That's why I'm not a part of the community. I don't go to pride. But my problem is the, the whole trans debate. Because it's no longer a debate. I'm sorry. Fact of the matter is, there's a lot of sick, disgusting people out there using this movement to touch little kids. And aside from the fact that they're touching kids, it's gonna have a much larger impact on every single game that the gay community has made in the past 60 years. Because people are really starting to hate us, really. Because y'all have gone too fucking far. I mean, I don't even lie. Even the gay community's gone a little bit too far. Which is why I don't associate with it. So, this whole thing on Reddit. Very interesting. Very interesting dynamic happening here. The fact that people are using this whole thing about identity as a cudgel to further their politics. And my worry is, is that these people are going to try and make pedophilia, well, the new normal. And that's unacceptable. You know, I, I may be gay and not have, and not have any plans to have children, but good God, I have children in my life, like my nieces, nephews, that I cannot imagine them going through something like that. I mean, I can't even imagine them growing up right now in this time, being bombarded with all this propaganda. And there's been a lot of, I guess, there's been a lot of, uh, quite, quite, quite a bit of public What's the word I'm looking for? And what is the word I'm looking for? Well, either way, there have been people that have gone out in public and tried to do this, tried to make pedophilia a sexuality. And I, I'm sorry, but it's not. Coming from a, an actual gay person, who's had to struggle with all, you know, all the stupid gay shit that happens when you go, well, you know what I mean. Being an actual gay person, growing up, having to deal with all the bullying and whatnot, but I have a pretty good idea of what is and what isn't a goddamn sexuality. And I'm sorry, but liking little children, that's, that's not a sexuality. That's a mental illness. Just like this whole trans thing, it's all fucking mental illness. And y'all are going too fucking far. Quite a few of the creators I watch on YouTube now are, they don't seem very happy with people like me. Well, you know, gay people. And I don't want to be associated with any of that, but unfortunately I am because it's my sexuality, it's who I am. But I felt like we had this period past 10 years, well, 10 years before 10 years ago, when before all this shit started, where it was finally becoming normal that, you know, gay people existed. It wasn't, we weren't being thrown in jail, we weren't being castrated. 
We weren't being excluded. Gay marriage became legal. But now y'all are going and fucking ruining it. Making people think that people like me are like that. When I'm sorry, but we're not. You know, actual gay people, not the ones that use it as a political ideology. You can go fuck yourself. Y'all live in a fucking fantasy world. And the whole trans trend is beginning to fall apart. And I'm worried that this is going to leave a permanent stain on every single gain that the gay community has made in the past 60 years. And I'll never forgive these people for it. I used to be a lefty. I used to vote Democrat. Then a few years ago, I started to realize this is a fucking religion. This is, this is religious. And now, in 2021, I've pretty much lost almost all of my friends because I don't agree with this shit. And they're all fucking woke. So, House of Cards is finally falling. You know, all this anti-white bullshit, all of this like our movie or our show and or you're a bigot. If you don't agree with someone's I identity, you're a transphobe. It's like, no, trans the transphobe isn't a thing. In fact, same with homophobia. Like, you can be hateful of gay people, but that doesn't mean it's an irrational fear. Although I guess a lot of you trans people, trans trenders, not real trans people, I know real trans people, ones that actually went through with the transition from one gender to another, the whole point of being trans, but I keep losing my train of thought. Maybe it's too late to be making this video. I just don't feel like any of y'all get it. You know, we're raising an entire generation of kids, well, which are teenagers to almost young adults now, with a perverted, and I don't mean that in the sexual sense, I mean that in the twisted sense, the, the broken sense of gender and identity. I didn't get to pick my identity. I hope you fucking know that. I didn't pick my fucking sexuality. I didn't... I didn't choose to have the shit kicked out of me in, in high school. And that's what you guys are doing. You're telling people that sexuality is a choice. Who the fuck chooses this kind of shit? You know, maybe I want kids. But I'm... I can't. Well, I guess I could adopt or something, but probably not anymore after you fucks have gone over with it. Anywho. I didn't choose to be gay. Nobody chooses their sexuality. And the whole point of being trans is to transition from one gender to another. Male or female, female or male. There is no fucking tum Tumblr genders don't exist. Y'all have been on the internet for way too long. In way too many of these fucking echo chambers online block anybody you disagree with you ban anybody you disagree with or who hurts your feelings your feelings can go fuck themselves because you're regressing all the progress we've made you know the same thing goes for the whole white versus black thing the whole race thing it's like i was raised i was born in, in 98 so i was raised in the 90s i was raised to think without race, to be tolerant. You know, it's one thing the left never fucking uses anymore, is tolerance. And the main thing my parents taught me about race was to not look at it, not notice it, not judge people by it. But now you have fucking, sh uh, what, a suburb of Chicago or something that passed reparations for everyone but white people. How the fuck do you people think that isn't racist? Although, 
y'all also think, you know, there are no such thing as gender. You know, everything's a social construct. Just deconstruct everything. It's all so fucking pedestrian and fake. You know, it's almost like people saw this shit. All this woke shit can make you money. And they realized, oh, I don't have any skills. I didn't actually learn anything or try when I was growing up. So I'm just going to lecture people about nonsense and get paid for it. Sorry, I'm, I'm new to all of this, this recording myself and trying to talk and lay out my thoughts. And I mean, it's three in the fucking morning right now. So what do you expect? Either way, I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a conservative. I'm not a progressive. I'm none of those things. I'm me. I'm the woke NPC, if you will. You know, I, I picked that as my moniker because I used to be an NPC. I used to be really, really into the, the progressive bullshit when it first started gaining track. And then guess what? I grew the fuck up. I think this is where a lot of this stems from. I think none of these people have grown up. They've, they haven't matured. Because they've had everything in their life handed to them and had every protection from mean words and physical, well, I mean, I don't even know about physical harm because, I mean, it seems like none of y'all have ever actually been in a fucking fight. But the point is, I'm gonna be laying all this out from the perspective of somebody who was on the other side and who now thinks that you're all sick and twisted psychopaths. I mean, it, it, y'all have a mental illness and you don't even realize it because we don't talk about mental illness anymore. No, no, that would be hurtful and harmful. Yeah, right. You know, I scroll through Twitter and I see all this, all this crap you people push out. And after I'm still working on the, the videos about Yuri Bezmenov, I'm on part two right now. But I've listened to the whole thing, and it makes a lot of sense. But I'm not entirely sure that's where all this woke shit came from. You know, the problem is the woke, the, 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 the subversive tactics that Yuri lays out doesn't work on everybody. I feel like everyone's defenses in terms of, you know, mental subversion is, is gone. And I mean, Especially after that, that one article about how critical thinking is bad. And I think y'all actually believe that. But I also think it's because you just don't want to. Seems like nobody on the progressive left wants to own up to reality, wants to own up to any of the bad things that happen in the world. You know, any of the pain, any of the misery. You especially don't want to own up to the misery that you're causing other people. In fact, you seem to revel in it, which also points to the fact that we have a huge mental illness problem. It seems like a lot of people, thanks to the internet, have become somewhat psychotic. You, you've lost your empathy. You know, you project it every day. You, know, you tell, oh, marginalized group this, marginalized group that. Yeah, nobody fucking cares anymore. And that's the problem. Nobody's gonna care about any of this shit anymore. Nobody's gonna care about helping actual marginalized people because you people ruined it. And I know this is kind of a rant, it's not really going anywhere, but it's just kind of an introduction to my thoughts and feelings about all of this and how the progressive left, I mean, I don't know if horseshoe theory is correct. I don't even, I, I mean, I honestly don't even believe there's a left and a right. I think either you're extreme or you're not. And you guys have fallen off the cliff and you've hit the floor of extremism. You are down at the bottom of the fucking pile and you seem to enjoy it there. But obviously this video is gonna be edited down. So far I'm a half hour into it. I didn't even realize I'd be talking for this long. I didn't think it'd be this easy, but I guess it's this easy when you're this pissed off and frustrated. I mean, shit, you know, I've been learning how to use Photoshop and Premiere Pro for the past year because of this lockdown bullshit. I can't even find a fucking job because for some reason the left just wants to destroy the economy. Like, 
You want to destroy everything, don't you? I'm talking to you right now, the left. Anyone on the, the left that will, that will defend this shit. Like, is that your goal? To just destroy everything from the economy, from social relations? I mean, you're taking Yuri Bezmenov's tactics of subversion to heart. You're literally doing every single step he did. And I don't even think you realize it. One thing I'm going to try to figure out on this channel is why. Why it was so easy to subvert you. What happened? Do you honestly just... Are there really just this many dumb people? I mean, I, I really can't believe there are this many stupid people out there. I mean, I, I think part of it is the fact that a lot of you people on the left seem to have lost all hope or drive, will. You seem to have just lost yourself. You know, you, you don't know who you are, so you come up with all these identities. You are going further and further with this climate catastrophe bullshit. You know, I used to be a fervent believer. I mean, I do believe in climate change, but that's because it's climate change. The climate changes. It, I mean, that's what time is, is change. Things change. In order for move for time to occur you need a change a, a, a delta a change from one vector to another and i don't necessarily trust any of the quote-unquote science that the left produces lately because for one a lot of it's corporate backed and that's the other thing i don't know how the hell you guys gotten into the hand of corporations either you think you're the resistance like like there's just Every single thing you do is just wrong. And it's not even that it's immoral. I mean, I guess that's what immoral means is to not have morals. But I, I just don't even think you can, can you, you, you don't even know what morality is anymore. And I know part of it stems back to the fact that we're a largely, you know, secular society without God. Because, I mean, I don't believe in God. So, you know, I'm. I, you could say my religion is the scientific method and logic but it's not the scientism tm bullshit that you guys are peddling you know it, i call it corporate science because that's what it is it's science that comes from a corporation it's science that demands authority when i'm sorry but science doesn't give you authority science isn't authoritative science is a process and you know science could i mean it it comes back to the whole gender thing, you know, like thousands of years of, of observing the human condition and you just throw all of that away. Constant trial and error. And I mean, we have different deities, different religions, all based off of the reproductive process of male and female. It's the binary, the duality, the whole yin yang of the fucking universe. But you probably don't even believe that either point is, this is kind of what to expect when I start talking, not just make dramatic videos with fancy effects. If you guys enjoyed this, um, I will post more like this, just a little more put together, not as rambly, but I don't know. Let me know if you like these rambles that kind of go in different directions. I'll, uh, I don't know. Either way, you know, what's, what's the whole YouTube thing? Like and subscribe, share the video. Comment below. Well, I do actually want you to comment. I'd like to know what you want to, would like to hear my perspective on, or if you need to know about something. I, I, I've been quite deep into this shit for a while now, so I watch a lot of random crap about Marxism, critical theory, um, critical race theory, especially God, which is absolute Satan. But yeah, um, let me know. Uh, do the, do the things for YouTube, and I guess that's it. Um, have a good night? Yeah, have a good night.